My name is Kate Swaffer, co-founder and current chair and CEO of Dementia Alliance International. I'm really looking forward to the webinar on 27th of February 2020, which we are holding with our strategic partner, Alzheimer's Disease International, on the topic of dementia and rights, from principles to practice. The last few years, we've heard a lot of rhetoric around human rights and access to them. But what are governments doing to measure concrete actions and progress towards frameworks like, like the Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities? And importantly, what can you do? What is your role in this? What is everyone's role in this? If you have an interest in dementia, human rights or disability, or would like to find out more, please join us. We'll be hearing from an excellent panel, which I'm co-hosting with Paola Barbarina, the CEO of Alzheimer's Disease International. Our panelists include Professor Susan Kale, the author of the excellent book, Dementia and Human Rights, from Mary Beth Whiten, Chair and Co-Founder of the Ontario Dementia Advisory Group and Vice Chair of Dementia Advocacy Canada. We're also hearing from Sylvia Perel levin from the UN NGO Committee on Aging and International Longevity Centre, from Mrs Liu Tang, the Secretary General of the Taiwan Alzheimer's Disease Association, and also from Jim Pearson, the Director of Policy and Research from Alzheimer's Scotland. The World Alzheimer's Report in 2019 survey revealed that over 60% of healthcare professionals think that dementia is a normal part of ageing. People with dementia have a right to a timely and accurate diagnosis and to treatment and also care and support. Such stigmatising views, however, are damaging and they're denying people access to these rights. If you think this is wrong, please do join us on Thursday, 27th of February next year to learn how you can influence change through a better understanding and the implementation of a rights-based approach to dementia. We very much look forward to seeing you.